Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. This is going to be an impromptu vlog format. Hmm. So I've been talking about my big uh, server move where I'm moving off of my physical dedicated server to a VPS, a virtual private server. Why? Because when you have a physical dedicated server, although you have a lot of power, you have a single point of failure, meaning a hard drive could go, a CPU could go, power supply could go, you get the idea. If that happens, you're down. The advantage of a VPS, a virtual private server, you basically the, uh, your server installation is basically just a virtual machine and it's in the cloud, meaning there's many pieces of hardware, many computers under it supporting it. So if one computer goes down for whatever reasons, there's a whole bunch of other computers that will take up the slack. So your, your sites, your app won't go down. And I think that the whole um, idea of getting a physical dedicated server is uh, antiquated, it's old school, it's like typewriter stuff. You're silly to do it. You're silly to have an old dedicated server. I wouldn't do it, it's, it's pain in the butt and it's just too much risk for no good reason. Uh, yeah, so I remember a friend of mine who works for a very, very large mining corporation, one of the largest in the world. And he was telling me about, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, where they were going into their server rooms where it may have been like 50 boxes, 50 servers. And they were virtualizing everything, putting, putting all these servers uh, using VMware, I believe it was, it was VMware, and virtualizing each box, essentially turning each uh, server box into its own uh, a clone of it. And then they would deploy this to a virtualized environment so they would have five computers instead of 50. And because VMware was so efficient in terms of the uh, in terms of how it managed resources, resources being CPU, RAM utilization, disk utilization, that most of the time servers are very idle. So it was able to broker um, all these virtualized computers. It used to be 50 down to five, and it was actually much safer. So if one of the boxes went down, they would have hop swappable drives, and everything would keep going, no problems, no single point of failure. So that's why I was moving over. I am moving over to this virtual private server. Now, I've already started the move where I put uh, my videos on the cloud, and I put uh, my main studio web app on the cloud a while back, like a year or so ago. So this is just the final move where I'm moving over more or less the branding sites, killersites.com, killerphp.com, how to build websites. So these are all my information sites and some apps too. And I'm throwing them onto this VPS so that, woohoo, in theory, no problem. So I started with the transfer of just two domains over to the new VPS oh, last week. And I just wanted to make sure, you know, see how it went, see how the tech support went with the people, uh, the new company I was dealing with. And this new company is supposed to provide a turnkey, white glove, fully service situation where I just send them a chat or, or a call. I say, hey, we got a problem here. Fix that, fix this, fix that. And they're supposed to do it. And generally speaking, they did a pretty good job. We had, of course, a little hiccup, partly my fault, partly their fault but we were able to resolve it pretty quickly and you know when you're moving into a new system you're working with a new company even a new division this is actually a new division in the same company you got to be cautious so i was cautious and what i did was to um just move over a couple of sites to make sure everything was cool everything is cool so on monday morning I think it was Monday morning, I sent, a I sent a request, I said, with detailed specs, detailed guidance, I said, okay, transfer the rest of the uh, accounts from the old virtualized server, the old server, the old physical server, transfer them over. So about four in the morning, uh, later that day, well, I guess Tuesday morning at 4 a.m., I get an email saying, we're just ready to confirm that you want to transfer these things. And I'm thinking to myself, I just sent you an email confirming. I just sent you an email with, with instructions. And why four in the morning? Because they don't do server migrations, moving your app or your websites from one server to the next. They do it in the middle of the night to minimize the traffic, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not sure how viable that is, to be totally honest with you, considering you can have traffic from all over the world, but that's another story. So I write back, I go, yeah, do it. So then I get an email back again saying, well, you know, you got a lot of data on these. Uh, looks like you got a lot of data. So uh, 
Uh, it will take four days. And I write back, wait, wait a second. They, they misread stuff. I don't know what it was, but they said, I pointed out that most of the accounts had less than a gig of data per account. There was like, you know, 15 of them or something. And then they write back, oh, that'd be great. So uh, we'll do it tomorrow morning. So now we are today. I've been waiting two days now. I, you know, I guess I'm recording this Tuesday night. I forget, I lose track. So I'm hoping by tomorrow, Wednesday, <laughs> I'll be to completely moved over to the VPS. And that's been slowing down everything because I want to make sure everything is cool before we do the last changes to the video store and so on uh, on the new server. Of course, I'm expecting some small hiccups. Not major, but I'm expecting one or two small hiccups. Hopefully not major, knock on wood. And then from there, it's like, in theory, it should be smooth sailing going forward because everything will be now in a cloud format, which means automatic backup, automatic patching, full turnkey, full uh, fully managed servers. And so I have no headaches and I get to basically close the book, close the book on the last of my physical servers. I've had several over the years. And that's pretty much it. So that's where I stand now. It's uh, around seven o'clock Tuesday night and having my coffee. Well, what I do now is I mix, uh, I say uh, one part coffee, two parts tea, uh, orange pico tea. I find it's a nice uh, softening of the coffee. In the morning, I'll have a full coffee straight up, but at night, I calm it down with a bit of tea. I just think it settles better for me. So I'm going to end this uh, vlog with, uh, I got the uh, suggestions. I think what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be concentrating on business. I, I realize that though I'm an encoder for you know, a very long time, you know, for I guess 25 years, uh, but I've actually been uh, in business running and developing small businesses for longer uh, since I was 18. So going on 28 years, if you can imagine that. Oof. So I am going to be concentrating a little bit more, but I will be mixing it in on entrepreneurialism and starting businesses, running businesses, but it's going to be uh, related to my own experiences or experience of friends of mine who have had businesses. And uh, I think it'll be an interesting, set of, interesting series for you guys. I started a little bit in the past. I decided to put it to bed. The views weren't great, but I think I'm going to develop it this time. Another thing I'm thinking of doing, I don't know, I might keep this channel here, Pure Code, uh, where you're going to see me do much more uh, Python. I put out my basic Python course. I'm just waiting for my editor to complete their work, and I'm waiting for the server to get transferred so we can deploy that properly, uh, the new Python course, the powerful Python 3, the beginner's course. And then I think I'm going to start putting out... Um, mini Python courses and videos on YouTube and so forth, going into deeper subjects. Uh, it's easier to teach people who already have the basics down, so I could go into animation, and games, and maybe basic uh, AI with Python and so on. So uh, yeah, so there's going to be a mixture of things like that. Um, now with the big server moves done, well, almost done, and some other things, we just, uh, we're going to be releasing Studio Web 3.1, which is a we're basic, basically closing out the 3x branch of Studio Web. That's it. That's all. What does that mean? That means we will not be developing that code base any further. And in fact, the writing for Studio Web 4 has already begun. And it's a totally, uh, it's totally built from scratch, brand new architectures. I don't know when that will be out. It'll take months. And uh, But 3.1 is super solid. Why are we no longer developing the 3.1 branch? The same reason that uh, Apple decided to stop developing OS uh, 9 because it was based on an old language and it just had its limitations. So as far as the Studio Web, the app is concerned, it works great. It's pretty much bug free. And uh, yeah. But nonetheless, it, it, it doesn't allow me to expand into the areas I want to take that app into. So it requires a brand new infrastructure, the brand new architecture. You know, taking advantage of newer MVC frameworks, newer ORMs, and a few other things uh, that I won't get into in this video. So there you go. That's it for tonight's uh, vlog. Ciao.